Dear colleagues, welcome back again. Now I will carry on uh, with the octal numbers conversion to uh, decimal numbers. So, uh, as you see on the screen, uh, octal numbers are going to be eight based numbers. And here is the example. Let's say there is an octal number. Uh, that one, three, and two. It is octal number. With eight, we can understand this octal number. What is it in decimal number? So here is the structure. Structure is ready. So one hundred and one hundred and thirty two. For example, this is octal number. What are we doing? As you remember, it is the same base eight to power zero and the second one is eight to power one and the last one is eight to power two it carries on eight to power four five six seven eight nine ten it carries on like this but eight to power zero to two because there are three numbers only and after that what is eight to power zero it is one eight to power one is eight eight to power two is 64 64 so when we calculate these numbers the, the, those numbers two times one is two three times eight is 24 uh, 24 sorry and the last one when we talk about the last one one times 64 is 64 so as you see on the screen, mm, I couldn't select. Mm. Uh, as you see on the screen, mm. these are the positional value of those numbers. So what is the positional value of three? Is twenty-four. Why? Because it is octal number. Now one hundred and thirty-two octal number. What is in decimal? Sixty-four plus twenty-four, eighty-eight plus 2 is 90 so it seems 90 1 3 2 octal number is 90 in decimal format this is how to calculate an octal number conversion to decimal number now I would like to make an example for the uh, decimal number example for the decimal number yes uh, sorry for the hexadecimal number for hexadecimal number let us uh, prepare an example here mm, let us prepare an example here for example one uh, one a one one a one <coughs> 1a1 let us 1a5 16 base 16 base means oh sorry like this huh. 1a1 1a5 16 base uh, hexadecimal number what is it conversion of this to decimal number what are we doing again one is here a is here and Five is here and this part base is 16 and 16 to power 0 base is 16 16 to power 1 base is 16 16 to power 2 okay so then when we calculate 16 to power 0 okay this is a rule coming from uh, coming from mm, mathematic any number except zero any numbers power zero is equal to one so what does it mean 16 to power zero is one any numbers power if any numbers power is one and number is the result 16 to power 16 to power one is 16 so 16 to powers 2 is uh, because I just did lots of calculation about this that's why I just memorized everything 
256. White is 256. Because 16 times 16 is 256. So then 1 times 256 is 256. Uh, a times 16, as you remember in the previous uh, video I told you, A means, because it's difficult to write here 10, if you write here 10, like this, if you write here 10, what will happen? It's, is it 1105 or uh, 1105 or 1000? You see, it's difficult, that's why we use here A. A means 10. A 10 times 16, 10 times 16 is 160 160 and the last one is 5 times 1 is 5 question uh, what is the position value of 1 what is the position value of 1 is 256 what is the position value of 5 is 5 what is the position value of a is 160. What is the decimal value of hexadecimal number 1A5 is 256 plus 160, 316, 321. 321. This is, uh, this is the decimal, decimal value of the hexadecimal. So, so far what we have learned is Conversion from binary to decimal, conversion from octal to decimal, conversion from hexadecimal to decimal. So these are how are we going to make the calculation for the conversion from any kind of uh, radix, any kind of base to decimal number. So even if you use just as an example, if you use here if I just put let's say something new that we are using let's say there is an there is such number uh, based on 4 there is such numbers based on 4 what is the conversion from 4 to decimal can we do it first of all logically yes we can do it logically we can do it it's not a problem but the problem here this question is wrong because there is it's not possible to write to use this four into four based numbers because four based numbers four based digits are zero one two and three that's why it is not correct it can be one for example so how are we going to do is very simple I will write here uh, from here 1 2 3 1 and 3 and here will be 4 to power 4 to power 4 to power 4 to power and 4 to power starting from right hand side to the left hand side 4 to power 0 4 to power 1 4 to power 2 4 to power 3 and 4 to power 4 after that you do calculation here 4 to power whatever it is after that you multiply by 3 times 1 is 3 1 times 4 is 4 like this you do the addition and you have the uh, decimal value of this uh, 4 based number ok so these are the examples with the like theoretical explanation is written on the screen you can uh, pause the uh, video and watch it uh, the next one is hexadecimal numbers uh, is here this is the example and then when it comes to the other way in other words if you want to uh, if you want to convert from decimal number to any base is very simple for example there is a number which is one four two okay so it is like this you must just prepare a kind of table uh, division okay and rem rem reminder okay 142 
so you would like to do this is the uh, based on decimal decimal based you would like to convert it to like binary based so we are going to put a number here in binary based so this is the question what are you going to do you will use uh, you will use this table division and reminder okay 142 divided by 2 when you divide by 142 divided by 2 what is the division is 71 so what is the reminder reminder is 0 so let me just do like this okay next next we have 71 divide by 2 what is if you divide by 2 is 35 point something so we don't care about points just uh, integer part 71 div 71 divided by 2 is 35 what is the reminder is 1 so what does it mean 71 divided by 2 D division is uh, 35 plus 1 is uh, 35 so reminder is 1 next 35 divided by 2 is equal to uh, 17 17 reminder 1 next 17 divided by 2 is equal to 9 reminder is 1 9 divided by 2 is 4 times reminder is 1 and 4 divided by 2 is equal to not 0 2 and 0 times 0 is reminder so 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1 time and reminder 0 and can you divide 1 by 2 is it possible of course it is not possible that's why we can stop to divide here so this is the result what is the result so if you can see the mouse shape starting from last digit you are just going to go through up so in other words here is one coming from here here is zero let me just uh, put all of them here you can just um, see the video one by one so here is one okay put the one here then zero then the other zero then one then one then one one and zero that's it so here because it is video it's easy to go back and uh, forward reward and forward so what is this 120 decimal number is one zero zero one 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 zero binary number okay so very same logic very same logic because you have on video you can uh, stop uh, pause and uh, watch it again and again if you don't understand still if you don't understand with pen or pencil I, I, I can I can uh, explain you in my office if you come to my office okay so here is the second question or the conversion 145 for example is equal to what is in octa okay based on octa let's say 8 doesn't matter so what is the result so 145 divide by what is the base 8 divide by 8 so if it is as I mentioned uh, decimal number we are going to divide by the base the, the base number 145 divide by 8 what is the result how many times is 
5, 10, 10 times 80, 12 times 96, eight, okay, anyway, so 1, 1, 8, 18 times, okay, so 18 times, 18 times 8 is 80, 64, 144. 144 and the reminder is 1. Next, we have division 18 divided by 8 is equal to how many times? 2 times. 2 times is 16, so reminder is 2. And the next, 2 divided by 8 is not possible. That's why we can stop here. Then we start 2, 2, and 1. So from bottom to up, including this division. Including this division. 2, 2, 1. That's all. That much simple. Let me carry on the another ex example. Let's say here. 236 is a number I would like to prepare it I mean convert it for the hexadecimal number simply 236 divided by 16 how many times 1 times 1 times 16 is uh, 4 3 is 7 76 in 76 we have 4 times 4 times 16 is 64 64 76 minus 64 is 12 76 minus 76 minus 64 is 12 ok so this is correct so 236 divided by 16 is 14 times but reminder is 12 and the next part the, the next part the 14 divided by 16 is not possible is not possible then I must stop here so here is the result from backwards to upwards so here I must write 14 and 12 so as you remember from the previous time so this is how are we going to show now question is it 1412 or it is 14 12 or 14 1 2 or 1 4 1 2 whatever it is so as you see it is difficult that's why what are we going to do for 14 you can use your fingers for 14 you can use your fingers after 9 10 11 12 13 14 in other words a b c d e 14 means e you can write here e 12 10 11 12 a b c e c okay this is the result when you convert 236 to 16 base number it is easy let us do some proof for EC 16 base is it equal to 236 or not let's see let's see where is that 16 base here I'm going to use only this these pieces okay only these pieces I'm going to use this part uh, and this one okay so I said E E C. So what is this? 16 to power 0. What is this? 16 to power 1. 16 to power 1 is 16. 16 to power 0 is 1. 1 times C. What was C? A, B, C. 10, 11, 12. 12. What is E? A, B, C, D, E. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 times 16. What is this? 
14 times 16 so it is 160 64 224 okay so it is when you add this two, 224 plus 12 is equal to 236 let us check again yes it is correct okay so these are how are we doing to conversion from decimal number to binary numbers so the last part last part I'm going to do not last before last from binary to octal number automatically we can do from binary to hexadecimal number and then we will learn from octal number to binary number hexadecimal number to binary number it is very simple way to do the first of all logically you can say if we have a binary number to convert it to, uh, to octal number we are going to convert this binary number to a decimal number and from decimal number we can convert it to octal number this is the first way or from binary number to hexadecimal number from binary to decimal number and from decimal number to hexadecimal number this is one way or for the other examples from octal to binary again from octal to decimal decimal to binary or from hexadecimal to binary you must convert from hexadecimal to decimal then binary you see even to say this uh, story it takes time it's long uh, that's why the best idea to do something without doing any calculation with the simple method is the best way so for this one uh, i'm going to use uh, another um, document to prepare this one okay for example one zero one one zero one sorry one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one one zero one one okay so it is binary number it is binary number so what will it be octal number so as i mentioned you uh, sorry as i mentioned you here this can be converted to octal number the first way to make this one to make this number uh, here is the example this is for octal number this is for decimal okay this is the example so you can put all those numbers all those numbers one zero one 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 whatever it is and then multiply by each of them okay let me do here one multiply by 2 to power but 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10, 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 2 to power 19 okay do this calculation and find a very huge number find a very huge number the next zero times two to power 18 sorry and this one two to power 18 zero times two to power 18 one times two to power 17 one times two to power 16 okay you have to calculate all of them after that you all you add all those results after that you are going to have a very big number let's say okay let's say this this is decimal number now we have to divide it by 8 to find the reminder let's say 4 after that that division will be again big number divide by 8 find the reminder let's say 3 so as you see it's going to take time and it is possible to make mistake so to get rid of this kind of problem what are we going to do for the binary numbers binary what is binary is 2 what is octal octal is 
we are going to convert it to 8. Huh. What is 8? 2 to power 3. 8 is 2 to power 3. Hmm. So here is the 3. Because it is 3 here, what are we going to do? Starting from right hand side, we are going to count until 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3. From right hand side to the left. What am I doing? I am preparing packages. Okay. If you have a calculator, you can stop the uh, you can stop the video and make the calculation yourself now, and then uh, write this number one zero one one zero one zero zero one 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 zero 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 one one zero one one to the calculator. If it is scientific calculator, you can just convert it easily with a, with a button to uh, eight base to octal base. Okay, and then check if it if I am correct or not. So what is this? So the first one is one. I write here one. The second one is zero one one, and I write here three. And zero one zero, I write here two. And zero one one again, I write here three. One zero zero, it is four. Zero one one it is 3 and 0 1 1 it is 3 okay if you convert this number to octal this is the result okay you can check from the calculator okay let us check together if I can manage uh, if I have a calculator here yes let me make a scientific calculator not the standard scientific calculator um, yeah. decimal number sorry binary number is it correct one zero one one zero one zero okay anyway you can even see here Without looking at here, this number I converted to this. Am I correct? Yes, it's correct. Huh. How did I do? Let me repeat. 2 converts to 8. 8 is 2 to the power 3. Because of this 3, I made 3 packages. And each of them I have to calculate. Let us calculate, for example, this. This is 1. Let us calculate this. 0, 1, 1. Okay, here is one example. Uh, not here, maybe this one here better. I said 0, 1, 1. 0, 1, 1. We're talking about binary numbers. 2 to power 0, 2 to power 1, 2 to power 2. So 0 times 4 is 0. 1 times 2 is 2 1 times 1 is 1 2 plus 1 is 3 so result as you see 0 1 1 is 3 like this you can do it yourself is much better for example 1 0 0 it is 4 for example 0 1 0 it is 2 like this from binary to octal number you can convert easily so the next one is the next one is from octal number to binary number. How am I going to do it? Here is an example. Let us write a big number here. This is uh, eight base number, and I would like to find out what is it uh, in binary. In parentheses. I would like to make it binary number you know you see uh, I'm just using B and 8 and O and 2 so to, to show you all version what am I going to do I'm going to represent each digit of this uh, octal number in binary so 5 means 101 6 means 110 3 means 0 
one one you see every time i'm using three digits four one zero zero five one zero one and two zero one zero let us check if it is correct or not uh, where is here hmm. here i'm going to write an octal number i'm going to write an octal number five six three four five two so these are the numbers that i used and as you see binary number this is the result exactly same okay exactly same sorry maybe you can pause and you can just see for those those two are the same okay so let us carry on with another example now we learned how to dive uh, how to convert from binary to uh, octal number now uh, then from octal number to binary number now let us uh, convert one zero one 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 zero zero one 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 zero one this is binary number i just would like to convert it to hexadecimal number convert it to hexadecimal number how are we going to do this time this time we are going to have 2 to power 4 okay 2 to power 4 so then counting from right hand side mustn't we mustn't forget from right hand side 1 2 3 4 package 1 2 3 4 4 so 1 0 1 1 is equal to 2 to power 0 2 to power 1 2 to power 2 2 to power 3 8 4 plus 1 is 13 for hexadecimal you are writing 13 mm -hmm. 13 is difficult so that's why 10 11 12 13 in other words a b c d so we must write here d okay. we must write here d the next one 1 0 0 1 is 9 the next one 1 1 0 1 is uh, 1 1 0 1 is 8 4 12 13 D. I have mistake I have mistake ah, it's 2 1 sorry sorry this is 11 11 this is B okay I correct it so B 9 D so simply B 9 D let us see here in the calculation uh, in binary number we put all those sorry all those numbers and clear it up put this as you see b9d for hexadecimal comes here okay and the last example from hexadecimal to for example a 5 d b 4 okay hexadecimal number you see it's very big number is equal to is equal to what in is equal to what in binary number let us find out now simple way again four digit for a we are going to have 10 10 means 1 0 1 0 this is 10 5 is 0 1 0 1 D is 13 1 1 0 1 13 12 13 B is 11 1 0 1 1 is B 4 is 0 uh, 1 0 0 this is 4 yes so what is this this hexadecimal number is equal to that binary let us check is it correct or not this hexadecimal number a 5 db 4 is equal to exactly this number as you see on the screen okay okay so far we have learned conversion from binary to octal binary to hexadecimal uh, octal to binary hexadecimal to 
binary. As I mentioned you before, if you have some difficulties to understand, if you don't understand something, please come to my office and then I can repeat whatever I did uh, show you here with pen and pencil and explain everything. So in the next uh, video, I'm going to carry on uh, with other numbering uh, conversions. Uh, thank you very much uh, for watching this uh, video. Have a nice day.